Hello, my name is August Caldwell, and I am the co-chair of Hillel at Colorado College. Before I introduce myself and the school to you, I'd like to first acknowledge that CC is situated on the unceded territory of the Ute peoples. And I'm bringing this up here because CC has been founded upon the exclusion and erasure of Indigenous peoples and continues to be complicit in these processes. I think that this is super important for understanding and contextualizing CC as an institution. And I'm also bringing this up here because I'd like to put pressure on CC and people interested in coming to CC on how the college is looking for ways to give land back to the Ute peoples. So I am a rising senior at CC. I am majoring in environmental studies and I'm minoring in Chinese language. CC is a really interesting place with a very cool block plan. So first I'll give you a little campus tour and talk about the college. And then I'll give you a tour through the Interfaith House, which is where we have most of our um, Hillel events. Right now is summer break, it's in between classes. So you're not gonna be seeing too many people on my tour. And also it's still during the pandemic. Um, but I rest assured there are plenty of people on this campus. And if you have any questions, uh, my email is a underscore Caldwell, C-A-L-D-W-E-L-L -L, at Colorado College at EDU. And I'd love to chat with you if you have any questions about the college. All right, we are walking to campus from my house. And here we are on campus. CC really stands out because of its block plan system. Some of the pros of block plan system include they become really immersed in your topic and you also get great writing skills and know how to write in a really short timeline. Some of the cons include that certain courses aren't very translatable on the block plan. For example, I think that taking language is really, really difficult and I wouldn't really recommend it if you're really invested in becoming fluent in a language. Um, some other cons is that certain weeks are more busy than others and the block plan can really take over your life. Like you might go on a field trip or, you know, you might have lab all day. So sometimes it can be difficult to get an off-campus job or something like that. Here we are at the Tut Library, one of the best places on campus, in my opinion. The bottom level is has probably about a bajillion books. The first floor has the GIS lab and the second floor where we are right now has the quantitative reasoning center and the writing center and then the third floor is like a social hub of campus for some people you can get a coffee chat and the fourth floor is a silent study floor so here's the qrc where you can come and meet with a peer consultant about any type of stem related issue i come here for challenging stem courses and have really it's helped me so much and here is the writing center where i work um, not to toot my own horn but i think this is one of the best places on campus and here is Palmer Hall, where I've taken a lot of classes. Some of my favorite courses that I've taken at CC include environmental sociology, ecological economics, and a course on Marxism. And I think one of my favorite things about CC is that the professors just know so much. They're so knowledgeable and amazing and do such amazing things in their field. Um, I've learned a lot. <laughs> and here is the quad. Uh, you can't see too many people here right now because it's summer break, but usually there are tons of people out here on hammocks or reading a book or playing intramural sports. It's a really nice place to hang out. And now we're walking to West Campus. Here's where a lot of the dorms are. And then over here, panning to my left, this is the Warner Center. This is another hub of campus. There's the Mail Center. There's two di different dining halls. There's a really nice coffee shop, et cetera, et cetera. And then over here, this is where I lived my sophomore year. And here's another dorm. And here's another dorm. There are many different places to live on campus. This is just a few of them. And now we are coming towards the fields where people play sports and do track. There's tennis court, there's lacrosse, people do rugby over here, soccer, etc., etc. And over here is our fitness center. It is extremely well equipped, including a climbing gym, which is really cool. I never climbed before coming to CC and learned how to do it there. And here's the tiger trail. This is just a running trail right next to campus. I start pretty much every morning right here. Um, it's so excellent. You get to run past really nice people, friends, dogs and it goes on for a really long time. I've trained a lot out here, run a lot out here, walked a lot out here. I love it. And now we're going to the Interfaith House. Hi guys. 
I'm Kobe. I'm the uh, coordinator of Jewish Life and the director of Hillel and uh, the Hebrew professor on campus. So we are here at the entrance of the Interfaith House. So come on in and I'll give you a quick tour. No, I'll walk backwards like it's supposed to be. So um, this house is actually um, can be used by any um, spiritual groups on campus. Um, Hillel has a priority on using the house um, during Shabbat, during holidays, uh, during special um, events that we um, schedule. Um, and I'll just walk you around. It's a very cool uh, space and hopefully one day even uh, we're gonna be able to renovate it. So, uh, there are multiple small rooms in here, in the main room, there is a small library in here. Uh, we have an awesome living room, and uh, sometimes, um, every Shabbat um, is in here, um, and including this huge dining area, so we do uh, kind of like a buffet, service and students cook and prepare Shabbat meals for between 30 to 50, 60 kids that come uh, for Shabbat. Um, I meet some of my um, more advanced level classes in Hebrew in this house, so it's not like in a classroom setting, it's a more relaxing setting and we sit together in here. Um, and this is connected to our kitchen which is an old but awesome kitchen. <laughs> so uh, this is one of our dreams is that one day we would be able to renovate the kitchen. Uh, we have everything in here. Um, right now, um, the fridge is empty. We haven't been cooking for a year plus since uh, everything was shut down last March. Uh, but uh, hopefully, in the fall, um, everything will be reopened and we can be able to actually use the house as we did in the past. All right, we're gonna go to the second floor and uh, we're gonna try to not to fall. Uh, so this house um, also has a few small rooms on the second floor, which are offices for now. There is one office, is mine, you can see. And that's my office. And um, more Jewish books and some stuff that we use for Hanukkah and for Shabbat. But the rest of the rooms are right now are pretty empty, so we let people use them for whatever. If people wants to come here and have quiet time and find time to study, not necessarily in the traditional places that the campus provides. So here's one room. And I think the coolest thing in this house is actually the upper um, level. So let's go and see it. So we created this really cool area that uh, we love to stay here, hang together, bring our food up here um, during Shabbat. Um, it's very, very cozy and fun. Uh, we had a movie night one time here, watching the movies on this sliding uh, ceiling and uh, it's very awesome. <laughs>